We were driving by Starved Rock Lock and Dam, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and I realized we're right here on the Illinois River. This is the Lock and Dam from Starved Rock State Park that you see. And right there is Starved Rock. That's the top of Starved Rock. Where 1,200 Illinois Indians starved a few escaped and where we walked around. Isn't that awesomeness? Can't go any further down. There's a gate. So this is what we were just looking at where you can see all the railings. And we're thinking that's the Eagle Bluff viewing because I think that's Starved Rock over there. Because it was on the other side of the dam, the dock. Oh, I see people up there. Yeah, I think that's it. That is Starved Rock. I wonder if we could get any closer. Just going to get one more view to show you the river. Yes, just down the road is a visitor center. Now let's walk over there and see. I don't really need to go in the visitor center. I just want to see Starved Rock from this side. Some steps. It looks like it goes around to a deck. This is cool. Lumis awesomeness. Check it out. There would be Starved Rock. I got a light pole in the way. There is Starved Rock from the other side of the Illinois River. I wish it was a sunny day. I'm just delighted I can see it. You can see the flag flying. 1,200 Illinois Confederate Indians. That's a lot for that spot. And that's a long drop down for those stories too. So there's somebody either in a canoe or a small boat. Kind of gives you a feel for what it'd be like to canoe over there to access it back in the day. I find it interesting to the left is a alcove. So that's where they could have landed their boats before climbing to the top. We were wondering what this island was that we viewed from the other side and it's Plum Island and there's Plum Island from this side. <laughs> 